Oh dear. What is that? Air? This is just like at Cave Mock. Is there an air crane here too? What do we do? Charge right in. I don't think so. Judith is right. Touching air that thick is dangerous. I I can't believe that something like that would s save me. Wait. Uh oh. Ah! It looks like we'll have to keep our distance. W what's this sh shaking? Is that the monster you were talking about, Carol? Uh, no, I've never seen a monster like that before. No, Patty, don't. This is not good. Hey, I can move. You're not getting away again. Oh, that happened. Rita, be careful. Don't worry, it's not harmful at its current density. What the hell just happened? The monster we just saw somehow normalized the air crane that was out of control. But that would mean that it can control the air. Could it be the same thing that guy did with his sword back in Cave Mock? Can we pass through it? Rita! Oh, uh, right. It should be okay. All right! Charge! Uh, Patty, please be careful. What's the matter? I have to figure this out. I mean, this is what I'm traveling for. Come on, Rita. I know, I know. We have to follow him, but I just... That air cranny isn't exactly going anywhere, is it? Of course not, you idiot. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, let's go. All right. Carol, are you okay? Y yeah. Peachy. No, really, I'm fine. That monster's power. Was that the Rizomata formula, too? It ate the air. Monster that consumes air? Just what was that creature? It did seem different from other monsters somehow. Yeah, that's for sure. It also looked like it was staring at us. Maybe it was wondering which of us to eat first. It, it looked into my eyes for quite a long time, actually. How nice for you. He must have thought you looked the tastiest. I don't think I'd call that nice. Hmm, once again, might be linked to that pharaoh. That's why I thought I was coming down at first. I'm like, oh shit. Pass that, go up for a save, which I believe to take. The left. Get that treasure over there in the corner. Peeking out a little bit on that left side there. Try it for the dog. Steel plus in magic too. Hmm. Even more tubery. Damn, that's just a normal save. Air crane. I never would have guessed there would be an air crane in the Weezen of Kados. Me neither. I guess nobody passing through ever noticed it. It must not have been putting out enough air until now for anyone to feel the effects. Sounds right. You sure picked the perfect time to start going crazy. That was a serious pain. Well, I was able to log a new discovery, so it worked out in the end. Yeah, so glad you enjoyed yourself. So, someone has one of those air crane you found? Rita, you explain. I'm all ears. I've been participating in the conversation, right? Hmm. <laughs> Over here. Oh. You be guarding something. It is a spine ripper. Both of us can learn something new now. FS bonus. Oh, every time a fatal strike hits anything? Do it that often, but hey. And more defense. Wait, can you equip what I just took off? Yeah, that 
Wizard Horn. Lovely dog. All status increases will repeal the active party. Something uh you had as well. Like if Yuri's in the party, you get like an increase to something. I forget what it was. Sticky fingers. Occasionally steal gold while escaping from battle. Mm -hmm. Happiness, happiness, happiness. This thing I'm still working on the fighting lens. Use a magic lens for any boots and enemy already not already registered in the monster book? Mm. Is that random or what's good? They can get back at some I missed. Well, there's an up and a down here. Hold on. Let's work together. Look down where I was where I was at first. Yeah, go down first. Woo! Let's get you into silver circlet. Enhances magic effects. Hmm. Ladies only. Well, it is a circle. It's like a little. Let's work together. It's one of those fancy crayons that goes around your head. Although well, Alucard could get circlets in Symphony of the Night. Maybe we just want to look pretty. Back to this fork. Going up this time. Into a fight. Keep going. Another one. Keep going. I saved that does heal. There he is. In trouble again, are we, Rigay? But, but how did you? Good work, Rapide. Looks like our little game of tag is over, Rigay. Most valuable pup indeed. <laughs> N no. I'll have to show you my really real power. Henshin? Oh! No way! It was you all along. <laughs> so that's what's been going on. What does this mean? Was he disguising himself as Regay? I don't think we have time to worry about the particulars right now. Oh, me, oh, my. How terribly frightening. I don't know what I'd do if I were to end up like poor Rago. What do you mean? What happened to him? Oh, they found his body face down in a riverbed back in Dongrest. I just couldn't bear it if I ended up like that, you know. Rago is... dead? But why? Mm, I'm afraid that's not for me to say. I'm, my lips are zipped up tight, for sure. <sighs> do they know? Jaeger! Ta-da! The reinforcements have arrived! Gosh, Drot, the rest I leave up to you. As you wish. Aye, aye, sir! He's getting away! Not on my watch. I'll see you in the funny papers, Liebchen. Give us a thing on how to deal with them. So I'm gonna be using a lot of these. Terrapus, Terrapus, Terrapus. Weak to light. Oh, we got the. Hey, Jesus! Fucking carpet bomb in me. Change it a little bit. Got some new shit. Unlocked in the meantime. Damn, I can never. I'm always swinging. 
Oh, he's got over limit now. Oh man. Come on, let's go. Okay. We need no sucker from our enemies. You're not going to make fools of us. But with those injuries, let us withdraw. Bye-bye for now. Man, this stinks. Where'd this smoke come from? <laughs> They're throwing our canine friend here off the scent. As long as we put up with the smell, we'll be fine. But I can't stand that smell. It's going. We're going after them. Holy shit, did I just overpower that boss? Yeah, they told me I was supposed to split up. I killed it before I even had a chance to do that. Huh. Well. Pressing on, then. Put like something to the side. I kicked a little too much ass on that one. Hooray for leveling, I guess, but... I'm missing out on the secret mission. So once I split up in like multiple bats and then you take on the You gotta lens a bunch of those. Uh what is with this heat? We've passed through the caverns and come out on the other side of the mountains. So you mean those are the sands of Kagor. Whoa. You made it all the way there? The sands of Kagor. Pharaoh's here. I I'm going on to meet Pharaoh. Wait! We can't just let you go alone. I mean, our job right now is to protect you. Well, we did get the stolen box back, right? Yeah, I guess we can't just keep chasing him around. <laughs> All right, we'll take care of him next time. Hold on. Are you seriously going? Do you know what you're saying? This is a desert. It's hot. People die here, get it? People die here? I'll die everywhere we went. I'm ready for it. The desert is divided into three regions. Huh? The foothills to the west, the center where it's hottest, and the massive peaks to the east. Uh, hey, hold on! There's a town between the end of the western foothills and the central area. Where did you hear that? I went there with a friend once. It's a nice town built up around an oasis. We'll hold off on any major decisions until we get there then. Sounds good to me. Old Raven wouldn't be able to think straight till he cools off. What are you gonna do, Patty? What's that treasure you're searching for? Maristella, was it? Well, I can't guarantee you'll find any clues in that town, though. Don't worry. As long as there are people, I'm sure there'll be clues. Well, there are people living there. Then I'll be joining you. Rita. I know. We'll make that our first destination. Yoga. I'm still trying to get my head around the fact that Regay was Jaeger's- Oh my god, I just- This spells out the connection between Ruins Gate and Leviathan's Claw pretty clearly. And that Jaeger was the boss of both guilds. Isn't it kind of early to say that for sure? It is possible that the Regay we met was just Jaeger putting on a show. Maybe the real Regay's off in some ruins someplace, just digging away, happy as a clam. We're gonna have a hell of a time if it's really that complicated. I don't know. Maybe I'm just puzzling over it a little too hard. We'll have to keep at it until we get to the bottom of this mess. They fucking red up spidered my ass. Unless there is a reggae, is what he's saying. No way. I would subvert the expectation twice. I actually put a actually uh, would give the game credit for that. Ooh. Well the town's right here. That's good at least. Yes, I missed out on a bunch of enemies there. At least I got rid of it. I beat the boss, you know. A dub's a dub! It's like other missions anyhow. I'm not that worried about it. So I can go back for like the Let's Play or whatever. Nope, we don't need that. Nope, we don't need that. I'm gonna fix that at the town, ladies. It's fine. What were you? Oh, Green Spike. Cactus spider. The sign of victory. Okay. Yeah, easy pickings. Anything else out here? Should have hit the town first. 
Mm-hmm. Whoops! There was actually something on the lift. I missed out. You walk through. It's over here. Yeah, wow, would have missed that completely. Silver hat. Actually. Oh, wait, it's gone. I say things going, damn it. They're telling me I gotta head back to the air crane of this FAQ. Take that right quick. It's not that far away from here, right? I was hoping to heal. The watcher caught. Keep going that way. Don't need it. Actually, you kinda do. Okay. Beautiful. Wonder if the enemies will drop more pineapple gels. How many I got? Okay. One for you, one for you, one for you. Yeah. And I got a thing that lets me lead with repeat finally. <laughs> Don't hurt us now. I can't forget to mention that. It's like you're looking at it right here. I'm just like. Yeah, I went back to a uh, Norda. I'm trying to go back and see if I could buy a Watcher Coast to buy. Get the recipes going again. And if I could sail back, they're not letting you get to the boat. Looks like there's one at the dock, but it's like I'm not getting like a command to run it back to the other towns. I would have done that. So I don't know if Patty's gonna leave again. I can want to see if I can cook a thing to unlock something else. Anyway, gotta get back to the air crane. That's a little further down. Which you there? There it is, by the save point. Yeah, our friend Dookie is back. If you're here for the air crane, the monster already got it under control. I heard. Heard? From who? But Regate, uh, I, I mean Jaeger, was the only other person here then. Wait, then you and Jaeger are... I thought I told you. Stay away from the air crane. Sorry about that. We just totally stumbled on this one by accident. Honest. Then you will leave immediately. Do not return again. Hold on a second. Okay, what is with his attitude? He's actually kind of pissed at us, that one. We're already here, so we can just leave after you've examined it. You're kidding, right? Aren't there plenty of other things we should be doing instead? Well, we do, but... <sighs> we all do. Estelle. All right, then. Let's go. Rita, you too. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I can get out of here. And press on. Back in the desert. Just cactus. Good old cactus. Present the fire. Well. I don't think it's the water, though. Well, there's water in cactuses, so. Actually, yeah, you do. But goddamn. We're done. My air spells are getting more expensive. I mean, they're working against them, which is. It seems like a pretty sleepy town. Well, in this heat, there are knights even here, though. I don't recall seeing such intimidating people here the last time I came. All right. I'm off to search for clues about the treasure. Bye-bye for now. You're leaving? Oh, ho So you want me to stay a little longer, eh? Well, it's been fun and all, but I'm sure Patty's got things she needs to take care of. Uh, then I guess it's time for me to be off. Be careful out there. When are they going to get to the Fire Factory? <laughs> All right. Shall we each go our own way for now? All I'm saying is whenever Patty's not on screen, people should be asking, where's Patty? <sighs> Fun for that. Before I do anything, I want to give these feet a rest. Okay, then. Let's meet up in front of the inn after sunset. Okay. See you then. No easy thing looking out for everybody else. Well, I think we all could use a little time to think things over. <laughs> the kids are all right. Part with everyone, but only temporarily in the town of Mantook.
So just need to repeat the Imperial Knights. I wouldn't think the Knights would bother coming all the way out to a border town like this. More power to them if they're really here to defend the public order or whatever, but something tells me there's more to it than that. Something going down. Alright. That's the exit. You're here, which means there's more shit to. Is it? Hi, Sudogi. Perfect. Hey, okay, look at all that. Earlier driver. Skills like an altar arch, gigantic monsters, and damage. In. If I talk to anybody, there's a couple things I want to. Whoops. Oh, where are you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we were going to be headed into next. It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> What? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. Hmm. Let's back at the field map. Oh, there's more out here. Eh? Oh, wow, that's obvious. <laughs> you had a chef hands and everything. Behold, curry. Now how to make curry. Right next to you. Patty. You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? Maybe. You got me. Now marry me. <laughs> I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, uh, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. <laughs> well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you, but for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. <sighs> and if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not going to take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case... The blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. Mm. And as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. I don't know what's true and what's a lie. Whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. 
what good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later. <laughs> when Patty's not on screen, you need to be asking, is Patty okay? Taking an awful lot in stride. I don't know how much. I don't know how much is hurting deep down. It's supposed to be finding the. Uh, unless he's over on this side. Out here. It's supposed to be right next is the. Got the camera. Oh, damn. Oh, isn't behind that tree. Alright, mashing X till I got it. While you sleep, I've been updating your wonder log. The first person I've ever told. I'll keep sneaking to, to your bedside and working on my magic. Like I violated the reporter's code of confidentiality. And I do things I've missed. Or whatever if not for That's the finale? I didn't get anything out of it. Whatever. I talk to everybody now. Let me make sure I got this stuff out first. Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri... Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> Take a shot. I mean, I guess it's something different, but it's... You can only do it so many times is what I'm saying. Have this kind of uh, conversation. Rita's not helping at all. Oh, I can buy stuff. Hmm. I don't have everybody with me, so I should probably wait and synthesize the weapons and such. Hey, old man. Sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Hmm. Whoa, what's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge, is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Bellius, right? Yeah, but if I can't see her until the new moon, then that's that, ain't it? Till then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easygoing? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the Don will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult, too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. Show sure enough. All right, Carol, you were over here. I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruin's Gate was secretly selling weapons and that they were smuggling them illegally out of Ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. Well, you don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right, and lead Brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongress for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. 
long way back to Dongress from here, maybe. Do it again. Nothing's gone wrong. What should I do? Huh? I should check in some. Is there a left? No. Was it this way over here? That's where Patty was. Which probably means Rita is in the inn? Last one leads, that's where she was. Oh, you're sitting out here. Whoa! It's like a dog or a cat or something over here. Anyway, what you doing? You can't open that without a key. All right, we did get that back. I know. Are you really gonna return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordapolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> I've never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? She'll walk barefoot. So I gotta make sure we can be her shoes. Seems like the type. That was everybody, right? Also, it starts to repeat. Oh, okay. You need me back. Carol, this is for you. I just ended up doing the in last and then had to reset it by walking away and coming back in. Ah, there's a lot of that. What's going on, Estelle? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really. But I'm afraid I can't let you. Estelle, wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared. But I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them. If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Oh, there's no reasoning with any of you. Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you give everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I've started. This... This is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense into you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. 
You've got your air credit research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crane isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Yeah, it ain't no thing. What? Huh? I'm here. Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. Ow! <laughs> I wonder what Pharaoh will do. Trophy wife? Man. Whose trophy wife should be? Alright, with all of you back, we'll skip first and then I'll bash it. Or synthesize it. Why would someone set up a barrier in a place like this? Actually, they discovered the Blastia at the bottom of the oasis and have just been using it as is. A nice person in town told me that. And with it sunk in the oasis, no one could move it. So I guess they had to leave it where it was. No one would trudge out into a scorching wasteland like this just to set up a barrier. No, oh, that explains it. Guess there's a reason for everything. Alright, now we stay at the inn. Can we stay the night here? Hello, welcome to the desert oasis Mantic. Mantic. What's with this knife? Well, um... <sighs> will... will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's... We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! Sleepy times! But man, I just can't relax with a knight standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone, let's get some sleep. Hmm. Are we still wanted, or...? Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but... And the night's no longer here on the side. It would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks, but we've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. And that's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here, too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordopolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into Arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. 
The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... He's back. <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. The Silver, the Spender, and the Gambler. Oh, my heart! Whoa, whoa, are you okay, old man? It's just, the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have. I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more. Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for Brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pinching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. That's why I was in the middle. If I say again, something else happens now. Yeah, you still. Oh, you already... Said what you were gonna give us as payment? I'm a mentor of my mother. She passed away? When I was still a child. What about your mother, Yuri? Have her when I was a baby. I don't even remember what she looked like. I see. I just thought I was special to never have a father or mother while I was growing up. But you and Carol, even Rita, you all grew up by yourselves too. Well, in any case, everyone's in the lower quarter helped raise me. Everyone in the castle helped raise me. I still felt lonely sometimes. Whenever that happened, I would look at this memento and think of my mother. Help bring my spirits up a little. What are you doing trying to give away something so important to you? You should keep it safe. When I started this journey, I completely forgot about the memento of my mother. I think because I was with you, Yuri. I didn't need it anymore. I stopped getting lonely. Are you going to get rid of it? We all have to leave our old memories behind. Everyone else is living fiercely and not worrying about the past. We need to learn how to grow up and move on too. You don't want it, I'll hold on to it for you. Time will come when you're going to need it. You're going to want to re-evaluate re who you are. You'll need to remind yourself who you were and how far you've come since. You don't want to make any rash decisions now that you'll regret later. Maybe you're right. But until then, please take care of it for me, Yuri. I lose sight of where I'm going, I may have to fall back on it. Be nothing wrong with that either. A keepsake. The desert. This town's only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell you. <sighs> Whoa, no comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. Better get with that heat stroke. Anyway, we have to stay at the inn a third time to get something else. Where are you going? Moon's so pretty, thought I'd go out and take a walk. Ooh, what was that sound? Eh? What's going on? Nothing. Go back to sleep. That was not nothing. Some flapping going on. Well, we're all awake, stupid noisy son of a... Nope. One of us is still sound asleep. No more tapioca. What happened? There's some weird sound outside the door, like someone carrying something heavy. It's late at night. Wanna go see what it was? Hey Estelle, get up, we're going out for a bit. Party for me. 
I'm sleeping too. Ugh. Rapids also sleep. We should let them rest. You coming, right? Mm. Who might this be? How could such an object like this possibly be used? Ask too many questions. It's a special assignment. That looks heavy. Want help? I still offer a... It's you. That's a hopey on Blasty, isn't it? What are you going to use it for? Run! Can we do a run? Yeah! Go, 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 go! In the line, boys. <laughs> Hardest one eliminate all witnesses. What? Enemy battle? Yeah, I'll just use this. Oh! Say goodbye. <laughs> this wouldn't happen if amateurs would keep their clumsy hands away from Blastia. <laughs> Damn it, you just wait. Weird, it's not safe. The course burnt to a crisp. It's too late. It's gonna explode. Did your walk have something to do after with going after this blasty by any chance? What could you possibly be talking about? It ended up destroying the end anyway. It's gonna be hard doing it all by yourself, trying to keep it all a secret from everyone. You can't even go for a nice walk without someone butting in. You still won't tell us your reasons for going around and destroying Blastia? I still think that it's something that you're just not what, as well off not knowing. Hmm? Moonlight Talon Boost Art. Alright, now we can finally... <laughs> Third time's the charm! We can leave the inn now. And head up here for something? Get back to the beach, I guess. We filled up our water. I think we're ready to go. Ah, that's what that is. Right. Stop it! Let's go. Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy. Leave huh? these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies. Do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. <laughs> Is that a little Yuri? What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro! Are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <laughs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, because you're so nice. Glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. A reward from a kid, just a plain old marble, but it means more than the world to me. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yeah, what's going on with that? All the more reason for us to continue onward to the desert. Scamper, scamper, scamper. <laughs> Look at him go! I couldn't get this in the cave. It was too far away. Now is, I can see what he's, what he's all about.
Yuri? What's the matter? I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right, let's go.